Hi there, I'm Heather Pierce Campbell, the legal website warrior, attorney and legal coach coming at you from Seattle, Washington with another one minute legal tip. So today let's talk about live workshops. Do you run live workshops or group workshops where you bring a lot of people together, either for a limited time, let's say a few hours, or for a few days? If so, we're gonna talk about some key things that you need in your workshop agreement. And let's just call it um, a waiver and release, just to make sure that that really sticks for you. You need a waiver and release for any live work that you do, right? So one is make sure that you have that type of document in place. Also make sure that as, and it, that should have quite a bit inside of it, but I wanna make sure you have a couple of key provisions. One is that you have um, language that specifically retains your right, your ability to remove people from the workshop. So I have had to work with clients that have run lots of live workshops and every once in a while they need the right to remove somebody either for bad behavior, for drinking alcohol, for, I mean, for doing some crazy things in the context of a workshop. So make sure that you have language that specifically reserves your right to remove people because you don't want somebody there disrupting the experience for everybody else, right? There's a lot of factors beyond your control. And also make sure that if you are wanting to capture either through photographs or video your event for future advertising purposes that you have a media release either in part of your overall release and waiver or separately. But make sure that you've got that language in there that is a media release and allows you to use photographs, imagery, etc., for future advertising. Okay, good luck.